and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aurelia Azir. That's right, Guardians of the Ancient is out. We have brand new champions. We're going to be playing four new decks with the new champions. Um, first one's going to be Aurelia deck, and then we're uh, with Aurelia and Azir, and then we're going to have Malphite Leona, Zillion Swain, and Zillion Malphite for the fourth one. So this is going to be the most aggressive of the four decks. We're going to be trying out brand new Aurelia with the ability to um, have all the different cards in Ionia, the new ones that have Blade Dance. So we're going to be attacking with these Blades, and whenever we attack with the Blades with Azir, then we will be summoning the Sand Soldiers, attacking as well. So it should be very easy to summon 10 units to level up Azir, and not too difficult to have 12 allies attack to level up Aurelia. Um, we're going to have Soothsayer in here to, uh, to protect our champions. It's going to be a new card that we're going to be trying out today, the Soothsayers. I'm also really, um, really excited about Syncopation. I think Syncopation could be an amazing spell, and so we got three of those to try out. I'm going to be playing one Coastal Defender in here. I, d I was, wasn't was really planning on playing this card, um, but, you know, it does have the, the give me plus two, plus zero whenever you summon an ally, and so we can summon a lot of allies with the Blade Dances and with the, um, and with the Sand Soldiers. But how I could see this working out is uh, really how the reason why to play Coastal Defender, because still, even if you make it really big, like let's say you make it a 10 6, right? You summon four things and it's a 10 6. It's just, you know, they still block with a 1 1, right? There's no keywords on this thing, so that doesn't sound that good. But the reason why I think we can try it out is because of syncopation. So we can, you know, attack with the blades. They, like, don't block one blade because it's just one damage and they block some other stuff. And then we can use syncopation and put that Coastal Defender in there now unblocked doing 10 damage because it's the 10 6. Right, so like that's that's the reason why we're going to play one of these is because of syncopation. All right, but let's go ahead and uh, give this a try. Let's see how this this looks. Brand new Aurelia Azir. Here we go. So we're going to go play our five games in ranked. And these are all just new, new decks we built here today. They're not going to be the very best builds and everything. This is new. Okay, there we go. Alright, so our opponent's playing an Overwhelm deck that's just going to be punishing us for having a bunch of small little things, trying to kill us real quick. Raspin! Thank you, Raspin. Thanks for that resub four months now, saying, uh, love the Mono Sharima deck and had a lot of fun and success with that. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Already our fifth sub of the day. Well, we went through and built the decks. Okay, what do we got? So we got... Green Glade Duo. We're going to Mulligan the Defender. We're going to keep the 2 3 4. Really hoping we find a 1 drop. Okay, so you actually see which cards your opponent mulligans now? That's weird. I wasn't playing, paying close enough attention, but you know, they mulligan like 2 cards or maybe 3 cards or something like that. I should have played this card. No, because I, I don't want the Aurelia to get the Vulnerable. It's a very nice Rock Hopper. I dance not to forget, but to remember. To me. So since we have the attack token, you know, want to play Aurelia here because we create this flawless duet. So it has the Blade Dance too. Which of course, helps out the Green Blade duo. Go ahead. You know, they, they, one man, they do have one mana spells they could could have used there, but I think we gotta be aggressive. Be be aggressive. As I live, all will die. Mm. So we had to attack with twelve plus allies here. Yeah, I think we just go with this. What terrors must we face out here? Whatever they are, we face them together, little blossom. So it does mean if they want to have their Renekton challenge my Green Glade duo, we do kill the Renekton. As long as they don't have an exhaust. I go, I go! Ooh, suddenly they don't want to challenge it so much. Wow! 
<laughs> yeah, they realize like we really kind of shut down their Renekton, right? And they're they're like, I guess I'm done. Wow. Got a mirror match. Expecting a decent amount of mirror matches today. I guess what one thing I didn't mention is I kind of prefer. I think I prefer Misfortune. Like I really want to try Misfortune with Aurelia. Um, but we do have a donation deck to play Misfortune on Saturday with Aurelia, so we're going to be doing that. That was my plan to do that right away, but um, because of that, I'm starting with Azir. Another good combo. But it was my plan to do Misfortune first. I go duo. It's not a great attack. I mean, it's it's all right. They don't have a great attack. It doesn't seem like. Okay. This is the tough part here, though. Azir or the Dias plus the Doomkeeper. I guess it's the Dias plus the Doomkeeper. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's got to be that. Let's start Doom Keeper. So last game, yeah, my opponent just had like pretty poor attacks with the Renekton and, and just kind of gave up <laughs> and conceded. All in the shoulders. So far, Green Glade duo looking great. Block both my two ones. Oh, Alright, so we'll go we'll go with the blade dancer this turn. Not to forget, but to remember. Steady your heart. Find your feet. And now this next turn, we can have Green Glade Duo and Azir together on round five. And we're going to take a lot of damage. What? Green Glade Duo should be able to get it done. That's my cue. Blocker. Tell the people what you have seen today. All right, so we'll have to see what they got for their three mana. Of course, all of the six attackers. They'll be able to block the six one, but the other Green Glade duo is going to be a five one. Can't block everything else down here. And there we go. Okay, good. Got the mirror match. 2 0. Look upon our work. Look what we have built. Did you? Yeah, I think I think this deck is potentially good. For sure. Is it potentially too good? I don't think I don't think it's I don't think it's potentially too good. I think this is a lot like Lucian Azir, like power level wise. Um you know, maybe a tad bit better, but but I think it's it's real similar to that power level wise. 
we've definitely had very good hands. Tom Kent Soraka. We had two two games where we had the attack token on turn one and had really good hands. Both games. It's definitely possible I should be keeping syncopation, but I kept it with like they're gonna be like a deck that's like blocking all the time and everything. And here, of course, I'm going to keep the two spell mana for the syncopation. So, you know, like, you know, obviously Soothsayer doesn't do really much at anything anyway, but it's it's valuable to have that spell mana. My name will echo the ages. <laughs> wow, just a pass. Wow. When rhythm takes hold, there is no time for fear. <laughs> And so since they didn't block, we didn't get to syncopation, but if, you know, they would have blocked one of them, I could have, like, syncopated another one. I'm just gonna let this happen. I'm just gonna save this. Alright, so the Protector will die. I guess we play Marshall this turn. To the streets! Show them the might of our army! Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. Everyone hunger. Do enjoy prospecting. Mm. Next time. We need the room anyway. Appetizers of plenty. Jerima, your emperor has returned. Our city is in your care, and you in ours. We look after our own. Just two mana, I don't think... Like, they'd have to have another one of, like, that one mana card that... To, like, bust up the spell shield. Playing the Doom Keeper for the two spawns. Tricky. I'm not sure if this is exactly like the best course of action. What I just took. Please don't hurt them. I'm not sure. Osu, help. All right, so that will put them down to six. Let's wait till next turn for this landmark. I'm sure there's something mm. to my taste. All right, the quick the quick sands aren't looking great. It's too late now. But I got back up his ear. Care to accompany me, Star Child? I will gladly guide all who seek my aid. 
Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. Live with purpose. <laughs> Who blesses you? You dare! I don't know. Is, I, is it even worth blocking? I guess it is. Yep, that's that's the plan. Is open attack. Appetizers are mm. Could do the this after attacking. Ease your worries. Yeah, I should probably open attack first. Star shaping. I haven't always seen star shaping in this kind of deck, but that's a good card. Then they don't have the mana for the acquired taste anymore. So Boomerang Blade should be able to do it. Okay, that'll do. Alright, 3-0. And, and there's the best deck from last format, Thresh Nasus. It did get two very slight nerfs. <laughs> I don't know if we'll make it all the way to Diamond today. That'd be pretty awesome, but I don't know about that. I'm very worried. Um, maybe I just play a Soothsayer this turn. Let's see, because if, if they go Ravenous Butcher... You know, I was going to say, I'm worried about Caretaker, as far as these things are, are concerned. Caretaker is really scary. But if they go Ravenous Butcher... Nah. Don't have Butcher, just attack for two. Attack for two. Hooray! I must become the leader they need. These blade dances do add to their slay count. So maybe that's not worth it. Because, yeah, that's not worth it. Never see us Cause like I would get two extra damage in with the Green Glade duo. But then these would each get plus two plus zero. So like this would be a you know, a four two and a four two, and that's just not worth it. Last win's pretty sweet. It's a good upgrade. Or, you know, it's over Ravenous Butcher gives you versatility. The Butcher doesn't provide. And also that third point of health is really nice because I want to block it with my two long. Well. Hmm. Step and strike, left foot strike, right foot strike, turn. Mind your form. Yeah, this hand is just kind of terrible. Maybe I should have kept some other stuff that I didn't. But Soothsayer, Deny, Emperor's Dice, these things don't do anything. I held up my deny. The 
this Reaper kind of find kind of turns out that we're kind of terrible against this Reaper. So it turns out. So I need Green Glade Duo to do 14 damage this turn. I don't think that's possible. Yeah, like, just kind of, basically, like, this game's over, but I'm just kind of showing why this game's over and why the last couple of turns have been so bad for me. Shoulder set, so this game, sharpen, this game's over. Our duo almost got there. See what we see. Close. Let's move. That's my cue. What do you do when you level up? Anything that's gonna save me? Great blade surgeon hand. So no. We dance to the drums of the Hey high tech. And all our hearts beat as one. Yeah, we showed how how much we can really buff this Green Glade duo. Um, you know, <laughs> it was like the Green Glade duo was close to killing them. It was, it was close. But the problem is these Reapers. The Reapers are the real problem. Ah, oh, if I would have had this other duo last turn, I could have had two duos kill them. That one drop was crazy. Yeah, if I would have... Blade danced on the turn three. I, I wouldn't have had the mana to do everything else that I did. Okay, well, we will try it again against Thresh Nasus. Quicksand is actually good here. I don't have anything to do with turn two, turn three, but I like Blossoming Blade. Let me just keep one Blossoming Blade. But you know, like how... We lost because the Reaper having Fearsome was a huge deal for why we lost. And then, of course, you have Nasus with the Fearsome as well. So I'm going to try keeping the Quicksand. I do not... Hey, Spark. I do not, Sparky. Nope. Uh... No. We'll play around. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. So would I rather give them a slay or take two damage? I guess we have to give them a slay. Wow. They... Do they not know what's going on? Do they not know the cards in their deck? I'm going to save the spell mana. I'm going to wait on Ribbon Dancer till after Marshall. Save the spell mana. Because, like, like, they should 100% attack there. Because it's just um, a bonus for them for getting another slay. Yeah, it's a fantastic card for their deck. Our deck looked a lot better the first couple of games when we weren't playing against Thresh Nasus. Uh, Thresh Nasus is looking good. It's look looking like it's got some good upgrades. May my steps 
Yeah, I think this is better than Bakai Sand Spinner just because the fearsome and it costs one less. <laughs> both of those are, yeah, you know, like both those are really nice. The fearsome, you know, with how aggressive their deck can be and everything can be a huge problem. Yeah, I think I think that's a good upgrade over the Sand Spinner with, you know, costing three instead of four. As we saw, like, if they had Sand Spinner in their hand, they wouldn't have been able to play Sand Spinner last turn and attack with that. Like, that's that's really nice. I think this is still going to be the best deck. I don't think... I don't think that's changing anytime soon. Yeah, I don't think that's changing anytime soon. The sun disc shines on us all. Yeah, whenever, whenever a new expansion comes out, Gamma, it's always aggro. That's... Yeah, you always see a lot of aggro on the ladder whenever the new expansion comes out. Now, um, yeah, like that's 100% of the time always the case. We'll now, with this time, no. this time, like, if you consider Thresh Nasus an, an aggro deck, you know, I, I do expect a lot of Thresh Nasus just because, you know, it was the best deck before. And so while people like me are playing lists they just made and, and experimenting with new cards, you can play a deck that's been tuned for months and is proven to be very good and uh, have a ton of success with a deck like that. And so we're going to see a lot of... Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to see a, a lot of this deck. Turn aside. So I can save four life with the quicksand and just be at eight instead of be at four. Just, that may be more valuable for me later, though. Their Thresh is going to level up. Yeah, a lot of things die. That's great. No mercy for those who desecrate our home. They will find our lands do not take well to intruders. Why do you think the new version would play Zero Spear? Zero Black Spear? I've always felt like that's a really, really strong card in the Fresh Nasus deck. I'm, I don't think that that would play Zero Black Spear. Alright, so we can see the power of our champions, right? Like, we, we've set up, we've been trying to stabilize, but now we got everything set up, right? We got Inspiring Marshal, Azir, Aurelia together. We can see the power of these blade dancing and everything like this. With the inspiring marshal in play, they can't. They don't have nearly as good of blocks as they did before. So I, I think that we're gonna win this game, honestly. Yeah, th depending on what they have for two mana. If they have Vile Feast or if they have another blocker or something. They don't. No, they have Fading Icon? That's the perfect card. Never mind. Well, I thought we were going to win. But that was the perfect card. Yeah, that was the perfect card. Getting the two blockers like that. Yeah, so the blades do have downsides. Yes, the blades do help, th like Thresh, like you know, level up Thresh and stuff like that, and, and make Nasus larger. Yes, if you play against a deck with Fiora, or like they can, if they, especially if they make Fiora tough, they can just sit there and like kill your blades and win the game. If you play against a deck with the Scar Grounds, like that, that could be bad for you. Like there's, there's definitely some different cards that um yes they didn't block they didn't block we got them they didn't block there's definitely some cards that can punish you for playing the blades that's just too greedy on their part
They didn't block. They cheer on me. Our legacy is eternal. Yeah, they didn't attack the turn one. <laughs> that's true. That's true. They didn't attack the turn one. That's that's why they deserved it. That's funny. Yep. Uh, yeah. So I I envisioned like so that's why I was that's why I was sad about the um, the plus three plus one or sorry sorry the the three one and the oh one like that card that got the two bodies because I was envisioning like with the two mana like maybe they just play one blocker and then they don't want their thresh to die so they they let one thing through and then I sink a patient but they they let one thing through they got the two blockers so I was sad but they still let one th thing through without blocking with the four three and so our syncopation got there all right so um yeah first first showing for the list um a card like blossoming blade really overperformed um the ribbon dancer like the blade dances all that kind of stuff looked really good the emperor's dais overperformed from its normal um use um soothsayer uh i is a card that i really like but it didn't look so great there we didn't really play against a, a slower removal type deck where Soothsayer will really shine. Um, I really only had it that one time in the Thresh Nasus uh, battle, and we really just didn't need it there. So, you know, that could definitely be something else. I don't have any of, like, the one mana combat tricks, Shapestone, or uh, the other new one that I don't own. Scrying Sands, Shapestone, Scrying Sands, Exhaust. Those kind of cards were all cards that I kind of wanted to find room to fit in here, and maybe that's where you could do with Soothsayer. Another option is you could, if you want some card draw, like Soothsayer could be Preservarium, and you can get a little bit of card draw in with Preservarium. That, that could be a pretty decent option. Um, and I don't know, like, the, okay, so the 8-mana card I think is too expensive. This is the, is in that card. Um, I think that one's just probably too expensive but i could see playing a vanguard's edge and so like maybe if if you want instead of one of these soothsayers you want a vanguard's edge um i could definitely see playing that that could be a pretty decent card just to get an additional attack there but anyway i was i was definitely really impressed with all the attacks and just the power of all those attacks and the power of inspiring marshall and azir and aurelia together it looked good looked good some of the you know card choices around the edges will definitely be tuned and will be um will be improved throughout the the coming days and weeks as, as we start seeing like what are like the more popular decks that other people are playing so then you tune your deck towards that and stuff like that so you know, like there's there's definitely some some tuning around the edges that, that you can do but um, i think we saw that the core of the deck looked quite strong all right, y'all, uh, that's going to be it here for Aurelia Azir. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments about the new expansion. What kind of champion combinations are you really uh, are you really excited about? Which ones do you want to see, like Zillian and um, Aurelia and Malphite? Like, what do you want to see with, with those? Like I said, like these are, these are the combinations for today. But yeah, what else do y'all want to see? Let me know. But that's going to be it here for Aurelia Azir. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.